The Steam Deck is a great handheld, and out of the box it has a lot of useful features. But you can take your Steam Deck to the next level with the power of plugins. For example, you can completely overhaul the user interface, you can add animated boot animations, and you can also get better performance through the use of plugins. And the best part is it's really easy to do. I'm Chris the Steam Deck Guy, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you in easy to follow steps how to install plugins on your Steam Deck. Let's get to it. Over on your Steam Deck, the first thing you'll want to do is to confirm which version of SteamOS you are currently using. To do this, press the Steam button on your Steam Deck, go down to Settings, select System, and then under Beta Participation, you'll see several options. As you can see, mine is currently using the Stable version, which is the default but there are also other options such as beta and preview. The reason we are checking this is because we are going to install an application called Decky Loader, and we need to make sure that we install the correct version. We can now back out of the system menu and we'll press the steam button once more and then go down to power. And then from here, click switch to desktop. Over in desktop mode, we need to open up a web browser. If you've not used desktop mode before, then you'll be prompted to install Firefox. The website we need to navigate to is called decky.xyz. And then in the top right corner, you should see a download button. Now, instead of clicking this, what we're going to do is right click, go down to save link as, and then over on the left under places, we are going to select desktop and then click save. You'll get a notification here, once that has downloaded, we can then close down the browser. You'll now see Decky Installer on our desktop. So what we can do now is to double click this. You'll get a confirmation to confirm if you want to launch it. So of course we do. So let's click continue. As you can see here, I've received a message telling me that I have not set an admin password. If you have, then you would be prompted here to enter your password. Now, because I haven't, Decky is actually going to set a temporary password for me. However, I wouldn't recommend doing that. So what you'll want to do here, if you receive this prompt, is to click no. Then down the bottom left in the taskbar, you'll find the system settings. So let's click that. And then under personalization on the left, we'll select users. You should then see your Steam Deck account. Here you can see this is an administrator account and you also have a change password option. So let's click that and enter a new password and then click set password. We can then close down the system settings and relaunch Decky Installer. This time I am prompted for my sudo admin password. So I'll enter the password here and click OK. You'll then need to select which version of Decky Installer you want to install. We have the release version and the pre-release. If you're using the stable release of SteamOS that we checked at the start of the video, then I recommend using release. If you're using beta or preview SteamOS, then I'd recommend using pre-release. Since I'm using the stable release of SteamOS, I'm just going to use the regular release of Decky Loader. Now I could use the pre-release version, but as you notice here, it mentions that it could be unstable. Likewise, if you are using the beta or preview release of SteamOS, using the standard release, again, you may run into issues. So I'm going to select release and click OK, and then I'll wait for it to finish installing. And as you can see, it doesn't take long at all. Once that's finished, I'll click OK, and we are done with the installation. So what we can do now is return to gaming mode and we do this by clicking the icon on our desktop. Back over in gaming mode, we can now check to see if Decky Loader has installed correctly. What we should find is Decky Loader is added to the quick menu. So let's click the button with the three dots on our Steam Dock and this is the button below the right trackpad. We'll click that and this will bring up our quick access menu. As you can see, there is now an additional option at the bottom of the quick access menu called Decky success. But as you can see, there are no options here and that's because you need to install the plugins. I'll first walk you through the settings. As you can see in the top right, there is a cog icon, which is the settings. So let's go there. Here we can check for updates. You can also update the channel to either stable or pre-release. So if you do run into issues, you can make changes here. You can also try at different versions of the store, which I'll show you in a moment. And then there are various other options such as receiving notifications. 
Over on the left, you'll see there is another category called plugins. If we go here, you'll see we have no plugins installed. But once you start installing plugins, they will appear here and then you can update them individually or uninstall them from here. So let's back out. And again, to access Decaloader, we press the quick menu button and you'll see it's actually remembered where we were. So you'll see there is another icon here, which is the store. So that's a little icon of a storefront. So let's click A to select the store. As you can see, there are 56 plugins at the time of recording this video. We get some limited options for sorting, either alphabetically A to Z or Z to A. And then for each plugin, we get the option to install. And you also get the option to install earlier versions. Although I'd always recommend installing the latest release. So let's give you an example. One of my favorites is the CSS Loader plugin, which allows you to change the Steam Deck UI colors and themes. So let's click install. Are you sure you want to install it? Yes, of course. And then you'll now see within the Decky section of the quick access menu, we have a CSS loader option. Once you've created your profile, again, you have the options for settings in the top right for CSS loader specifically, and you also have a storefront. So again, let's click the storefront and this will take us to all of the themes that we can download and install using this plugin. So within here, we have a lot of sort options. So let's choose the most downloaded. And one of my favorites is the switch like home theme. So let's select that. We'll click install and then we'll press B to back out. We'll back out of this. And again, we'll load up the quick access menu. And you'll see now under my Steam Deck Guy theme, we have switch like home and it's deselected by default. So let's select that and then we'll close down the menu. And there, as you can see, we now have our new theme. The great thing about CSS Loader is you can combine multiple CSS configurations to create a really unique look. So let's load up the quick access menu again. We'll select CSS Loader and then we'll click the store icon. And another one that I like using is the clear game view. So let's select that and click install. Let's back out of this bring up the quick access menu. And again, it's not selected by default, but if I select this now, we now have the two themes enabled for my Steam Deck Guy profile. So let's back out of this and select a game. And we now get a full screen background image. Let's select a Steam game. And as you can see, that looks very nice. If we want to install another plugin, we can open up the quick access menu. Under Decky, we can go to the store and then we can choose another plugin to install. If you want to know which plugins I use and recommend, then go and check out this video.